We're also following developments out of Virginia Beach where the suspected shooter in Friday's massacre submitted a letter of resignation from his job with the city that morning. Twelve people were killed before police wounded and captured the shooter who later died at the hospital. Katherine Johnson has the latest now from Virginia Beach. As Virginia Beach mourns the 12 people gunned down in Friday's massacre, survivors struggle to comprehend what they lived through. I'm still trying to process it all. During the attack, Christy Dewar was barricaded with coworkers in an office in municipal building number two. When we were pushing the cabinet towards the door, Dwayne was trying to get in and he fired four shots. Dewar described the terror. Everybody's just as scared as you. And the baby in the room, Lori, is just, I mean, she was just shaking so bad and crying. New details of the investigation emerged Sunday. Officials say the suspect, Dwayne Craddock, quit his engineering job with the city of Virginia Beach just hours before the shooting. He was not terminated and he was not in the process of being terminated. Craddock, who died at the hospital after a shootout with police, gave two weeks' notice in a resignation letter he submitted Friday morning. One of the pieces of the investigation will include the motive for this horrific act. Authorities also revealed officers arrived on the scene just two minutes after the first call to 911. Police captured the suspect within minutes, likely saving an unknown number of lives. Katherine Johnson, CBS News, Virginia Beach, Virginia. The city manager there in Virginia Beach says the assailant was an employee in good standing in his department, and he also described his performance as satisfactory.